Hello, everyone, and welcome to this book, A Golden Super Adventure Book, Masters of the Universe, A Hero in Need. Written by Elizabeth A. Ryan, illustrated by Fred Carrillo. A golden book. Yes. Orko and Cringer were playing monsters and magic among the trees of the evergreen forest. I'll catch you next time, Orko said with a laugh as he just missed Cringer. Cringer darted a few feet away from Orko. The two of them were having so much fun they didn't see the evil Skeletor in his land shark lurking in the shadows of the forest. Nearby, Adam and Tila were also having fun, at least Tila was. Tila, you're going too fast, Prince Adam said. You're going to crash into a tree. No, I won't, she said with a laugh as she skillfully steered her power sled around a tall evergreen. Besides, I'd lose if I even came close to a tree. Those are the rules of the game. Suddenly, Skeletor roared out of his hiding place and seized Orko in the powerful jaws of the land shark. Cringer was paralyzed with fright and couldn't do anything to help his friend escape. I am taking you hostage, Orko! Skeletor cackled. Let me see how well you work your magic now. And when He-Man comes to rescue you from Snake Mountain, I will destroy him. Ske Ske Skeletor! Help me! Help me! Orko cried as the land shark disappeared. Frightened and alone, Cringer crept along the edge of the forest, searching for Prince Adam. That's Orko's voice, Tila said. We've got to save him. She drove the power sled out of the forest. Prince Adam frowned. Skeletor is too far ahead of us, he said. The only one who can save Orko now is He-Man. Now to slip away, he thought. You may be right, Tila said. But how can we alert him? I'm going to look for him now, Prince Adam answered. Before Tila could protest, he leaped from the power sled. Tila roared off in the vehicle to try to catch Skeletor. Sheltered by the trees, Prince Adam seized the power sword from its hiding place. By the power of Skull, he cried, and in a blaze of light, he turned into the mighty He-Man. Then he pointed the sword at Cringer who had come trotting up. Magic power transformed the frightened tiger into the fierce battle cat. He-Man and battle cat quickly caught up with Tila, who was aiming her powerful laser gun at Skeletor. I'm going to stun that evil monster, Tila warned. You're a great shot, Tila, He-Man answered, but I don't think even you can hit Skeletor at this distance. I'm going to catch up with him. Tila was puzzled. Where is Prince Adam, she wondered. He was here just a few minutes ago. Prince Adam? Prince Adam? She called into the forest, but the only answer she received was silence. As He-Man and Battle Cat gained on Skeletor, the evil fiend tried to turn around and see what was pursuing him. But traveling at such high speed, he needed to watch where he was going. I'll stop whoever that is right now, Skeletor hissed. No one is going to take away my prize. He raised his havoc staff and sent an enormous beast to block the path. But He-Man swept the creature aside with one stroke of his power sword. Orko, still fixed in the jaws of the land shark, could not resist turning his head around to mock Skeletor. You were awfully foolish to snatch me away with He-Man around. You stupid little creature, Skeletor answered with an evil laugh. <laughs> He-Man wasn't there. Prince Adam was. That sorry excuse for a prince can't save you from me. Skeletor laughed so hard that his hands came loose from the controls of the land shark. Without Skeletor's guidance, the vehicle crashed into a boulder, spilling him onto the ground with a thud. 
Luckily, the accident freed Orko from the jaws that had imprisoned him. Skeletor pointed his havoc staff at Orko. A swarm of huge fang snakes encircled the little magician. There now, see my power. More of the same is waiting for you at Snake Mountain. Oh no. How powerful are you now, Skeletor? He-Man challenged as he stunned the fiend with his power sword. Before He-Man could say another word, Skeletor disappeared into a cloud of smoke. Next time, He-Man! He Slashing away at the snakes, He-Man he said, You're free now, Orko. You arrived just in time, Orko said. I was getting really scared. I'm glad you were nearby when Skeletor grabbed me. Thank you, He-Man. How did you know He-Man was in the forest, Orko? Teela asked. The only other person I saw was Prince Adam. Orko thought quickly. He had to keep Prince Adam's identity a secret. Oh, I saw He-Man pass by while Cringer and I were playing Monsters and Magic. Teela frowned. Where's Prince Adam anyway? I looked for him and couldn't find him anywhere. In fact, I can't even remember He-Man and Prince Adam being around at the same time. In order to protect He-Man, Orko said, it's no problem, I'll go find him myself. Then disappeared behind some trees. Orko tried his best magic. Adam Shadam, appear Prince Adam. He muttered, but only a small butterfly flew out of his sleeve. Then Orko tried some more and succeeded. I understand someone was looking for me, a magical Prince Adam said to Tila as he emerged from the forest. Tila was stunned. But you, I thought, I don't understand. She looked for Prince Adam to He-Man and back again. Tila almost couldn't believe her eyes, but seeing the two men side by side made her doubts disappear. He-Man nodded to Orko and the two moved a few feet away from Tila. That was very clever, Orko, He-Man said, smiling. Your magic was great. It helped to keep my identity a secret. Thank you, my friend. Orko bowed his head shyly. It wasn't so special. After all, I was only helping out a friend who freed me from the clutches of Skeletor. You too are a friend indeed. That was the end of this book, Masters of the Universe. Mounted on the mighty battle cat He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe, rides across the planet of Eternia. He is ready to defend it against the forces of evil, led by the dreaded Skeletor. To protect his identity, He-Man stays disguised as the unassuming Prince Adam until the need arises. Then, by the powers of Skull, he lifts his sword and transforms himself into the champion of Eternia. How many of these Golden Super Adventure books have you read? Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. There will be more to come later. Enjoy.